Good morning, YouTube. Crab on. So today I'm doing another crabbing video. Um, there's my view. We're gonna be using rods with folding crab traps and uh, chicken, a rope and chicken. So today I have my grandson with me Hello. and my daughter. All right, Parker, how many crabs do you think we'll get today? 20 at least. 20 at least. I'm going to say 15. 15. All right, man, pressure's on. I'm going to say we'll get a dozen keepers. We might be a little bit picky today, especially since I picked a dozen. All right, I'm going to show you how these traps work. So basically what I did was I went to Walmart. This rod right here, 25 bucks for the rod and reel, so you can't beat that. All right, this trap. You cast it out, when it lands, it opens up like that. Um, you might see a, a bite on your rod when you get a crab in your trap. You'll see a little little tap, 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 like you're getting a bite like, you, like if you're fishing. Um, what you do is you don't need to set the hook. It's not like you're setting the hook, you don't need a jerk. You just pick it up and start reeling in and the trap folds like that. It's real simple to use, very productive. All right, wish us luck. See what we got on. It's turning sideways. That's usually a good sign. Oh, yep. Yeah, Grab on. Uh, there we go. Nice. Your first crab. Yeah. Oh, he's small. He's very small. Yeah. It so is, you want to keep it or release it? Let him go. Let him go. Let him grow. Let him go. Good job. How do you release it? Just left it, leave it down? Yep. Open. Drop it down. It should open up. Look at that. Go, too. go. Oh, he's stuck. All right. I watched the crab shoot left. Where you go? See the waves going left to you? <laughs> oh, she's stuck. Crab one, a zero. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check the rods now. Got two rods over here we're gonna check real quick. We got one rod out there with the Mohara on it. All right, let's check it. And we're due. Crabbing's been a little slow. Just like that. I just said we're due. Man, we needed this. It's, we've been on a little dry spell. This real quick. I got it! I got it! That's all right. Good job, Parker. Good job. Love, love them. What? Let go. What do you think, Parker? Hold it up for the camera. Good job. Nice job. Look at that. That's pretty big. Good job. That there we go. Good job. Nice smell crab. We had two on there. Back put it in the bucket. Yep. We're going to get it in the bucket and get it back out. All right. Usually this spot does pretty good on this side. Heavy. I don't know. Oh, it's opened up. Yeah. Sometimes the traps come in open like that, yep. and it's pretty much a waste, but... Dumped it right out. Yep. All right, we'll get it back out there. We are checking them. Get, keep it right up, Parker. Look at that, those are... You lose another one? Oh, we got one here, though. Nice, pretty female. Mm -hmm. You can tell by the orange claws. Yep. Look small. how pretty she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to cast one out so She's bad. Gorgeous. All right, let her go, let her grow. There you go. Oops. There she goes. See you later, oh. Here we go. We caught it with no net, I mean, no string. <laughs> it was cruising in the water. She yep. scooped it up. Yep. Nice fat little male. We're going to put it in the box and get back at it. What's it look like? Oh, look at yeah, not a bad start. Got a crab on. We got, I think, five or six this way, and lost about 40 this way, it seems. <laughs> Feels like I'm playing tug of war. <laughs> it's cool watching that string 
He's definitely pulling on it. Oh, like that already brought it into you. Yep. Oh, he's going that way. Dang, he's a feisty one. So before she tries, do you think she gets it or not? I want to say she'll get this one. She got it. My gosh, she's quick. Good job. That's how you do it right there. Couldn't tell if it was a rock or the crab at first. <laughs> <laughs> He's little. Let it go, let it grow. Let it go. It's missing a claw too. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a little recap. We have six rods out and two lines out so far. We have everything spread out, so we're covering some water. But it seems like this spot right here has been our hot spot, this line. Chicken and line right now is outdoing the rods, even in the cooler. I'm not sure because we got a younger group of people helping me, but you know, we got four in here. We actually got another one in the cooler over here. So we actually got five and we threw back one i believe so and it's still early so we're off to a good start and we already have one on this line again in front of me sometimes they walk right up on shore for us <laughs> yeah yeah we actually caught two on shore where it come up to the shore all right crab on oh this looks big though oh my god dad it's stuck hang on don't break it and grab it he's pinching it there we go. Look at that nice. beast. That's a big one. Nice. Looks great. Turn around. You move, you move, you move Hong Kong over here. He left right here. I think you got one on. There we go. That's that's really cool. That's a male. Yeah. Little dry spell, so we'll take it. All right, we got four more to check. All right, I'm checking this one. Yep. Crab on. Crab on. Look at that. Is it the nope. Ooh. I think it's borderline keeper. I think we'll yeah, keep this look at one. Look the red tips. It's, it's the male. Don't yeah, know. look at that claw on that. Wow, that's pretty. All right, we'll nice check job. this one over here real quick too. Come on, come on. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Does it feel heavy? A little bit, but I know there's nothing on there. Nope. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, we got one. Yep, we got one on. Okay. Just a little one. Good job. Don't drop the rod, though. Oops. Just a little guy. Have to hold the rod up so I don't, yeah. Yep, just a little one. So we'll put her, put him back. So what, it's probably at least our 7th or 8th one that we let go today. Alright, we'll let him go. Oh, he just went right in the net. I'm trying to help you out. Keep reeling, we'll get a crab on here. Step over to this side, Parker. Yeah. Keep reeling. Good job, Parker. Lift the rod up. Hold the rod up. There you go. Another little one. We're going to let it go. Let it go. Good job. Yeah, it looks like we got one on this one. Just like that, Parker. Keep Good the job. rod up. Good job, buddy. We definitely have a crab on it. Keep going. We got two on there. We got a double oh, banger. Good job. Mommy helped pick it up. Oh, one, oh, fell, one off. fell off. <laughs> That's oh, it's okay. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I just one. I the other one. Here we go. Nice job, Parker. Thanks. We'll take that all day. Checking them both at the same time. 
I think there's one on this one. Oh, on the outside or is it on the inside? Oh, it's on the inside. There we go. Oh, we got a double banger. Oh, no. yes. He just no, lost it's his. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. That's part of it. That was awesome, though. I was close. I was so close. Hold that up. I had yep. a crab in there. Yep, yeah. There we go. I think that's a keeper. Yep. Nice job. It's about decent size. Park, you slipped out of there, huh? Yeah, I had it, though. Yeah, we'll get to the next time. Oh, I know while we're out here crabbing, it's a perfect time to teach you. Kid, I'll throw a cast net. He's still learning. He's doing it a couple of times. Got a couple of Maharas. It's all right. You just practice makes perfect, right, Parker? Yep. We're working on it. Good time, you know, while we're waiting in between, you know, checking the crab lines. You know, might as well have a little fun doing that. We put a line out with the Mahara that he caught. So hopefully he'll catch a fish. Parker, take them water. All right, we're going to do, we're going to check our rods one more time. We're going to call it a day. I'm going to share with you what we have so far. For now, I got them covered up. Because it is hot out. But, you know, there you go. There's probably about 10 or 12 in there. Enough for a good meal. That's a nice one right there. But, uh, yeah, we're going to check. We're going to check the rods one more time. And we're going to call it a day. All right, our last two for the day. Come on, Parker, we need another one. Keep your rod up so we don't get stuck. Oh, no. That's all right. We got one more rod. And if you remember, if you watched my last video, the last rod had two crab on it. So we're going to see. Maybe I can repeat it. Yeah. Nope, I did get a nice female. Look at her. She's furious. Yeah, there you go. Last rod again, it produced. We're gonna let her go, let her grow. Well, that is a wrap on today. Um, it wasn't like crazy exciting. Um, we did catch, or we kept between 10 and 12 crab some really nice ones too um we probably threw back seven or eight but overall it's a little on the slow side but you know i got i got to do this with my daughter and my grandson so three generations out here crabbing made it you know made it exciting for me anyways and, and my daughter's first time crabbing so what'd you think your first time crabbing it was a lot of fun and what's your favorite way definitely the string because they're on the string more often it's harder to pull them in, but they're on it more often, so you always have something to do. And I tell you, you guys made a nice team working together. Yes, Parker's we, a good netter. Yeah. What do you think, Parker? Mm, the line, definitely, because I like netting. Yeah. There you Flip go. Crab crab. Yeah. All right. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the water. All right, so I'm back at my house. I'm going to share with you guys how I... Uh, grill my blue crab first what I do is I steam them and what I, how I do it is I add a, a quarter cup of salt to my water a quarter cup of salt one beer I do is don't splash me and then one cup of vinegar and then I bring it to a boil and then when I steam my crabs and put them on the grill or if I'm smoking them I clean my crab just because I feel like I get more flavor that way and then I don't put anything else on there I don't use obey or nothing when I put it on the grill I have this Everglade heat and some butter and I'm telling you guys this is the best way to cook your crab or smoke it. you can smoke it the same way either way it is really good all right so I have them steamed for end up being I am standing for like 25 minutes I'm adding the Everglade heat this is really good stuff 
again, don't be shy with this. And these are, like I said, these already been cooked. You can eat them like this. I'm only gonna leave them on the grill no longer than 10 minutes. All I'm doing is putting this on and I'm gonna put the melted butter on and I'm gonna let all that heat up and let it soak in. And that should be good. Put my glove on because it is hot. And just like the seasoning, don't be shy with the butter. Look at that. My gosh, it smells good. I'll tell you what, man. Today was a special day for me to be able to go out and uh, crab with my daughter and my grandson. Man, I tell you what, it was just such an awesome day. It's a day I will never forget. To see my, my daughter and my grandson enjoy doing what I enjoy doing. It was just so neat to watch. We're gonna use all this butter. Dump it. There we go. Don't be shy with it. All right, I'm gonna let it cook for 10 minutes and I'm gonna pull them off and they'll be ready to go. All right, they're finished. So I, I grilled them at 350 for 10 minutes. That's what they look like. I'm telling you, these are gonna be delicious. Just dip them in some butter. I got a storm coming in right now, so. So if you guys watch my videos, I shared with you how to steam them, clean and steam, just steam them whole, boil them, smoke them, now grill them. Um, there's plenty of different ways you can cook them. My favorite way is smoking them and grilling them. So I hope this helped you guys out. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the water.